A public rally of the National People's Power Movement was held in Valdavaya yesterday. The rally was held under the auspices of presidential candidate Anurakumara Disanayake. <laughs> A group including activists of the JVP and provincial public representatives attended the rally. They removed Mahindra Rajpaksa from power and appointed Rane Vikramasinghe. It has been five years since that happened. The thinking now is this government should also be sent home. Yes, it should be defeated. However, who should be brought into power instead? Is it Mahindra's rule which should be established? The government which was sent home in 2015 for looting public funds for increasing the cost of goods, for increasing taxes, for selling our lands to companies, for removing the fertilizer subsidy and for removing the farmer's pension. Do not establish the government which was defeated in 2015. All these issues were created through politics. These governments destroyed the education sector. They also destroyed the health sector. These governments created a country without a law and order. Therefore, these crises were created by politics and the only way out of it is through politics. Therefore, it is time to rid the country from the bad politics which has been persistent for the past 71 years. The 16th of November is the day to do that. Presidential candidate of the National People's Party, Mahesh Senanayake, unveiled his election manifesto this evening. The event was held at the Foundation Institute in Colombo. The event took place under the theme Changing the 71-year political culture with the right leadership. Former Auditor General Garmani Vijay Singh was present. During the event, Mahesh Sena Naika unveiled his election manifesto and launched his official website. <laughs> Mahesh Sena Naika's election manifesto is a collective of policies spread across multiple branches, including a responsible governance, a cabinet limited to 20 members, strengthening of national security, enforcement of law, education, and the development of higher education. The first thing to expect is one law equally enforced on everyone. There will be only one country and one law for everyone. Everyone will be treated equally. The biggest problem in this country is that the President, the Prime Minister, the Cabinet and all MPs are acting above the law. The law is only enforced upon those who follow the law. That is why this country is so corrupt. Such corruption can only be eradicated by someone as brave and unbiased as myself. We can forget racism, religious, difference, religious differences and gender inequality and develop this country. In order to take this country forward, we must strengthen our economy. Our election manifesto gives the highest importance to economic development. We will create a well-disciplined political culture in this country. Such a disciplined culture can only be created by our party. Through our election campaign, through our election manifesto, we can achieve all of these targets. <laughs>